I've got a philosophy about, about shareholders that uh, uh, essentially if you're a public company, uh, anybody can become your partner in the business. I mean, if, if I was going to form a, decide to build a motel here or, or, or start a mini steel works or something, I could invite 10 or 12 people to be my partners and I would be sure they would be compatible with me because I'd, I'd select them and, and uh, they'd select me. And, in a private business, private partnership, you should get a good relationship among the owners because they have a chance to, to sit down and decide who wants to be associated with whom. But in a public company, anybody can buy or sell. I mean, I, they, they, you, can, you can have anybody. The only qualification is money, which, as you mentioned, is sometimes a limiting factor. But the, uh, the, at Berkshire, I want to get people as shareholders, as partners of mine, who are, have got the same expectations, the same time horizons, the same methods of measurement that I have. I mean, it's, it's crazy to go into business with somebody that's got entirely different expect expectations than you have. So the only way I can affect that, since anybody can buy it, is by my communications and policies. I will try to follow policies and I will try to communicate with the people who are my partners or my would-be partners so that the right kind of people, in terms of expectation, I don't mean the right kind of people that they're necessarily people you want to have at a cocktail party or something, but the, the people who are going to be happy when I'm happy with results and who are going to be unhappy when I'm unhappy. The worst thing in the world, though, I mean, we, we could stick a sign outside this hall tonight and we could put rock concert on it and we'd have one kind of crowd come in. And we could put ballet and we'd have a somewhat different kind of crowd come in. Both crowds are fine, but it's a terrible mistake to put rock concert out there if you're going to have the ballet or vice versa. And, and the only way I have of sticking a sign on Berkshire as to the kind of place I'm asking people to enter is through the communications and policies. Splitting the stock is a relatively minor item in that. But essentially, I would rather have people as owners that, that A, expect to own it the rest of their lives. I mean, I, 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 it's ideally, I don't want anybody to say about selling it next week or next month or next year. Uh, they may change their mind, and that's fine, but I, but I really want them to go in the idea that they're going into partnership with me for the rest of their lives. And if they're buying because they think the stock is going to be split 50 for one or because they think the earnings are going to be up next quarter or something like that, they're not terrible people, but they are going to change their mind after they get into the hall and they're going to think this is the wrong kind of place. All the seats are going to be occupied. That's the nature of, of the stock market. All the shares of General Motors or Berkshire Hathaway or General Electric are going to be owned by somebody. And... It makes sense, in my view, to, to follow policies that get people that are as close to you in objectives and expectations as you can have. And, and by not splitting, we have eliminated, we've eliminated some people we wouldn't like to eliminate. We've also eliminated all the kind of people that are basically interested in trading stocks uh, uh, actively. And that's, that's a good group from my standpoint. The New York Stock Exchange is not wild about it because we probably, well, I know, we have by far the lowest turnover relative to capitalization of any stock on the exchange. But that, to me, that, that's terrific. I mean, if I had a club or I, or if I was, the, if I was preaching at a church, I would not measure my success by how often, uh, how frequent the turnover of the congregation was or the club membership would be. I, I would, I would really like the idea that nobody wanted to leave their seats so there wasn't any seat available for someone else. I was wondering if you could